In today's video, I'm going to walk you through a 10 to 15 minute listing presentation that I have been using with success for the past 20 years. Now, just a note, everyone's listing presentation is different in substance and in length. If you have any questions about this presentation or need help with your own listing presentation, please hit reply to the Remax Realty One Inc. training email, and we will be sure to connect with you and help you with your presentation. Now let's dive into this video. The first thing that I do once I meet the client for the first time is I tell them, Mr. Seller or Mrs. Seller, could you please give me a home tour of your unit? And this is the opportunity where we're going to find out if there were any upgrades that were recently done. And most importantly, this is the time that we connect with the client. We have to build rapport with our client within the first 10 minutes of the interaction. Now, how do we do this? If we see, say, a picture that resonates with us, or if there's a item that we can have a conversation with the client, this is where we warm them up. Because our goal is to make the client like us during the first 10 minutes. We got to make them laugh and we got to make them smile because if the client doesn't like us during during the initial meeting most likely they're probably not going to do business with us now once we've done the home tour and i sit down with the client i bring a laptop with me and my listing presentation is in powerpoint format and i make sure that i have access to internet connection and i can achieve this through my phone when i do a mobile hotspot because i would need access to the toronto mls and also to two websites that i would like to show them as part of my presentation so the first slide putting your condo on the market what i do is prior to the meeting number one is i have a condo enhancement checklist that i email to the client prior to the meeting and the number two, recommendations for minor repairs and improvements. This is where I tell them areas of improvement that I saw during the first walkthrough. For example, I can probably recommend that the unit needs to get painted or maybe a faucet needs to be replaced or there is a broken tile on the floor. And this is where I have that conversation in order to sell your unit for the highest price possible. Now on the second slide, marketing plan for your condo, this is why, where I tell them how I will market their condo for them. And what I do is I tell them, first of all, I will competitively price your condo and I will have this conversation with you at the end of this presentation. Number two, we will optimize condition and viewing of the condo because Mr. Seller, the buyers determine the price, all we can do is set it. And what we can control is optimizing the condition and viewing of our condo in order to make it more appealing for them. Number three is we will prepare and submit the information to the multiple listing service. Number four, we will promote your property to our database. And number five, we will create maximum exposure for the property. Now, Mr. Seller, in today's times, the buyers go online to look for properties. No one looks at newspapers anymore. No one looks at printed ads. Therefore, we, we focus our marketing on internet exposure. And how do we achieve this? We ensure that we hire professional photographers, professional video tours, and we ensure that your property is on MLS, on realtor.ca, home finder, and basically to all of the IDX search websites available out there. All the buyer has to do is find your property on the map list or simply type it on the type it in on Google and it will come up on the search. For the clear and open communication slide, this is where I connect with them, where I pull out the uh, appointment sheet, the Remax appointment sheet, and I have a conversation with them on when is the best time to show your unit. And when are the best times that are not? And if you would like me to block certain times during the marketing period. 
And also it's very important that we tell them that we're going to give them an update every week. This is very critical, most especially in today's market where properties are staying longer. All we have to do is go to Broker Bay, email them a copy of the, email them the number of showings and the, any feedback that we could get them. And also this is the time to connect with them if we would, we would require a price adjustment for the property. So this slide is the opportunity to, to tell your client that clear and open communication is a must in order for us to move forward and everybody has to be on the same page in order to be successful. In the negotiating and structuring the sales slide, this is I tell them, this is why you're hiring me and this is where my 20 years of experience will work for you because our promise to you is to carefully review and present all offers for your consideration. We will qualify all the buyers and research their lending options to increase the likelihood that they can secure financing. And most importantly, we'll negotiate the strongest terms to create a solid transaction that will close on time without any surprises that work for us. And just a note during the conversation, always use the word us. There's no I, always us. Us, us, us. In the complete transaction management slide, this is where I tell them that all the work will be done by us. And all they have to do is tell us what price, yes, say no, and give us the email address of their lender and their lawyer, and we will forward all the documentation for them. They don't have to do anything. They don't have to do much when they hire us because we are on top of everything. And we have to reassure our client that we will be doing everything for them. Now at the client appreciation program slide, service before and during after the sale, this is where I tell my clients that we will, I will be in touch with them after the, the transaction is finished and I will be popping by their home and we'll be sending them valuable information through their email every single month. And also this is where I ask for a referral. I tell them that my goal is to do a phenomenal job for you so you can refer me to everybody that you know. We have to ask for the referral Otherwise, we will not receive. In the in-depth market analysis slide, this is where I tell my clients that after this presentation, we're going to go through the Toronto MLS. And this is where you're going to need connection through the internet in order to access Toronto MLS. And this is where I show them the just solds, what's available in the market. And this is where we have a discussion on where the pricing has to be. Compensation. I like to put the compensation in the slide because they're going to ask us anyway how much we're going to charge. And what I do is I break it down. The 5%, I tell them where all the money is going. And for the money that I'm receiving, I break it down much more. And at the end of the day, I tell them, Mr. Seller, for all the work that we do, all we get is 50% of the total compensation receivable after we get the commission. Because I find that if you don't break it down Sellers don't really know how much they're paying us. And if they bring the calculator and punch in 1.2 million at two and a half percent, it's such a big number. But if they realize that we're only receiving 50% of it, in my experience, they won't ask for a commission reduction during the transaction with us. Our goal during the listing presentation is to sign up the client during that time. Therefore, it is critical for us to ensure that we bring all the necessary documentation ready, a pre-filled listing agreement, working with realtor, and also the FinTrack forms. If you find that the seller doesn't want to sign the listing agreement at that time, what I do is I have an easy exit guarantee and I promise them that at any time during the listing period, you wish to be released for the listing, we will cancel it within 24 hours upon receiving the request. This is just what I do. And I find if I have an easy exit guarantee, the sellers, it's much easier to get them to sign the listing at that time because they think and they have the assurance that they can cancel the listing whenever they are not happy with our service. 
And at the last slide, I'd like to include some of the recently sold properties that I did, and I show them what we can do for them. So I click on this and I tell him, Mr. Seller, this is what we can do for you. And we have to show them what we do when their property goes online, right? You don't have to show the entire slide. You can just cut through that. And that's what they do, just to give them the impression that you're actually doing a phenomenal, you're going to do a phenomenal job for them, okay? And once the presentation is done, I just tell them this is my website, www.yourcondoprices.com if you want more information about this. And this is our Remax Realty One Inc. website if you also want more information for us. And I just tell them we are a healthy brokerage. You can see the number of listings that we have. We do a lot of work in Mississauga or wherever you're taking the listing. And prior to ending the listing, I asked them, do you have any questions for me, Mr. and Mrs. Seller? And would you like to proceed? And that's how I handle my listing presentation. Hope you liked the video and have a great day.